ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار indeed the praise is for allah we praise him we seek his help and we seek his forgiveness we seek refuge with allah from the evils that are within ourselves and from our bad deeds whoever allah guides there's no one that can lead this person astray and whoever allah leads astray there is no guide for him i bear witness that none has the right to be worshiped except for Allah who was alone without any partners and i bear witness that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the servant of allah and his last messenger to all of mankind all you who believe fear allah with the right that he should be feared with and do not die unless you are muslims practicing the deen of al islam o mankind fear your lord who has created you from a single person and from that person created his mate and from them to scatter countless men and women throughout the earth and fear Allah from who you demand your mutual rights and do not cut off the relations with the wombs that have bore you indeed Allah is a watcher over you all you who believe fear Allah and say that which is correct and upright in order that Allah may rectify for you your deeds and forgive you of your sins and whoever obeys Allah and his messenger has achieved a tremendous achievement as to what follows certainly the most truthful speech is the book of Allah and the best guidance is the guidance of the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam And the most evil of the affairs are the newly invented matters in the deen. And every newly invented matter in the deen is innovation, and every innovation is going astray, and every going astray is in the hellfire. Our messenger, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he mentioned, "Istaghidu min adab al qabr maratain." The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he addressed the Muslims and he said to them seek refuge with Allah from the punishment of the grave He mentioned this two times Seek refuge with Allah from the punishment of the grave And then he mentioned 
sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that when the person is placed in the grave, after the person's soul is taken, and then the person's body is placed in the grave, فَيَأْتِي الْمَلَكَانِ The two angels, they come. And they make him sit up. And they say to him, يَا هَذَا مَنْ رَبُّكَ وَمَا دِينُكَ وَمَنْ نَبِيُّكَ They say, oh, so-and-so, who is your Lord? What is your religion? And who is your prophet? As for the believer, he will respond, Rabbi Allah, wa dini al-Islam, wa nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned that when the believer responds with these answers, it will be said to the believer, Qad sadaqt, you have spoken the truth. And as for the disbeliever, when asked these questions, his response will be, Ha, ha, la adri. Ha, ha, I don't know. These three matters, that Allah is our Lord, and Islam is our deen, and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he is our prophet, these are the foundations of Islam, the foundations of the life of the Muslim. This is what we're supposed to live upon throughout our entire lives until we return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the one who is established upon Rabbi Allah, wa dini al-Islam, wa nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this dunya, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make him established in the akhirah. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he himself mentioned the statement of Allah regarding this narration about the person answering the questions correctly. That when the person answers the questions correctly, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make him establish. يُثَبِّتُ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِالْقَوْلِ الثَّابِتِ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make those who believe established upon the firm statement, the firm established word in the life of this world, as well as in the akhirah, as well as in the hereafter. So this means that the Muslims who live their lives upon, my Lord is Allah, my religion, my way of life is Islam, my Prophet is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah will make these individuals firm in their grave when the angels come to question them about who is your Lord? What is your religion? And who is your Prophet? The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has established in this narration that those who live their lives upon Islam and they die upon Islam, these are the ones who will be safe in this dunya and safe in the hereafter from misguidance. They will be safe in this dunya and safe in the hereafter from the shaitan and being upon the path of shaitan. So it is a must that we be pleased with Allah as our Lord and pleased with Islam as our way of life and pleased with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as our prophet and messenger. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam تُعَمَ الْإِيمَانِ مَنْ رَضِيَ بِاللَّهِ رَبًّا وَبِالْإِسْلَامِ دِينًا وَبِمُحَمَّدٍ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ رَسُولًا And this narration is on the authority of Al-Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib رضي الله عنه The uncle of the Prophet. He said that he heard 
the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, whoever is pleased with Allah as his Lord, and pleased with Islam as his way of life, as his deen, and pleased with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as his Messenger, this individual, he has tasted the flavor and the sweetness of Iman. Whoever is pleased with Allah as his Lord, pleased with Islam as his deen, and pleased with the Prophet Muhammad as his Prophet and Messenger, this person he has the flavor and the sweetness of Iman. And what's intended here is not just a person verbally saying, I'm pleased with Allah as my Lord, I'm pleased with Islam, as my deen, I'm pleased with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam as my prophet and messenger. No, it's not just a statement. It's the life that you live along with the statement. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He mentions, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُوا Indeed, those who say, our Lord is Allah, and then they are upright, upon the deen. تَتَنَزَّلُ عَلَيْهِمُ الْمَلَائِكَةَ أَلَّا تَخَافُ وَلَا تَحْزَنُ That the angels would descend down upon them at the time of death, saying to them, do not be afraid, and do not be sad. So here Allah mentions two matters, the statement and then istiqama. The statement of professing your belief, and here saying, I'm pleased with Allah as my Lord. I'm pleased with Islam as my deen. I'm pleased with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa as my prophet. This is the statement. Now there is a need for istiqama. Now there is a need for the person to be upright upon the meaning of these words. Because of, what does it mean to be pleased with Allah as your Lord? It means that we are pleased that Allah is our creator and our provider. We acknowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us our blessings. We acknowledge that life and death is controlled by Allah. We acknowledge that none has the right to be worshipped except for Allah alone. We acknowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His right over, over us is that we obey Him and we do not disobey Him. That we be grateful to Him and that we are not ungrateful. That we remember Him and we do not forget Him. All of this is entailed in the statement of, I am pleased with Allah as my Lord. Islam is not just lip profession and statements and slogans and yelling Allahu Akbar and the likes. Islam is a lifestyle, Islam is a practice. Islam is a belief of the heart, the statement of the tongue and actions of the, the body parts and the limbs. So if we are truly pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as our Lord, we will never put anyone or anything before Allah. If we are truly pleased with Islam as our way of life, we will never put anything before Islam. If we are truly pleased with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as our Prophet and Messenger, we will never follow anyone over following the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Every one of us, we have to look at the condition of our lives. Are we truly pleased with Allah as our Lord? Are we truly pleased with Islam as our way of life? Are we truly pleased with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as our Prophet and Messenger? And if the answer is yes, then it should show in our behavior. If the answer is yes, it should show in our practice. It should show in how much we hold on to the practice of Islam. It should show in us praying five times a day. It should show in us staying away from the haram. It should show in our adherence to Allah, to the Qur'an, our adherence to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But the more the Muslim disobeys Allah, the weaker the claim of being pleased with Allah as his Lord, and pleased with Islam as his deed. 
and pleased with Muhammad as his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wakulu kali hadha, astaghfirullah li wa lakum. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wassalatu wassalam ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursaleen Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'een Amma ba'd Abu Sa'id al-Khudri radiyallahu an He mentioned that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to him Ya Aba Sa'id مَنْ رَضِيَ بِاللَّهِ رَبًّا وَبِالْإِسْلَامِ دِينًا وَمُحَمَّدٍ صلى الله عليه وسلم نبياً وَجَبَتْ لَهُ الْجَنَّةِ Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, he mentioned that the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم said to him, O oh Abu Sa'id, whoever is pleased with Allah as his Lord and with Islam as his deen, and with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as his prophet, paradise is obligatory for him. He must go to paradise. Wajabat lahu al jannah. Now we know entering into jannah is not just by word of mouth. There's a must that there be iman in the heart. There's a must that when a person says that he is pleased with Allah, as his Lord, pleased with Islam, as his deen, pleased with Muhammad sallallahu as his prophet and messenger, the person has to be truthful. Because the munafiq, the one who outwardly shows Islam and he hides kufr in his heart, he verbally says, La ilaha illallah Muhammad or Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A munafiq can say verbally, I am pleased with Allah as my Lord, I am pleased with Islam as my, with, as my deen, I am pleased with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as my prophet and messenger. But he doesn't believe. So it's important that being pleased with Allah and Islam and the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this has to be firm in the heart, truthful upon the tongue and proven by way of our actions. And when we do this, Paradise becomes mandated for the individual. Abu Sa'id radiallahu an, he was amazed by this statement of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So he said, A'idha alayya ya Rasulullah. O Messenger of Allah, say it again to me, repeat it again to me. Because he was so amazed by this statement of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the reward for it. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam repeated the statement. In another narration, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned, مَا مِنْ عَبْدٍ مُسْلِمٍ يَقُولْ حِينَ يُسْبِحْ وَحِينَ يُمْسِ فَلَاثَ مَرَّاتٍ رَضِيتُ بِاللَّهِ رَبًّا وَبِالْإِسْلَامِ دِينًا وَبِمُحَمَّدٍ نَبِيًّا كَانَ حَقًّا عَلَى اللَّهِ أَنْ يُرَضِيَهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, there is no Muslim servant who says in the morning when he wakes up, and in the evening three times, I am pleased with Allah as my Lord, I am pleased with Islam as my deen, and I am pleased with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as my prophet, Except that it is a right upon Allah that Allah will make this individual pleased on the day of judgment. So this is a sunnah. Every morning you wake up, you make this statement three times. And every time you reach the evening, you make this statement three times. But again, do not let it be just a statement. Let it be your life. Let it be something that you stand upon and you live upon. As they say, with all ten toes down on the ground, practice being pleased with Allah as your Lord and Islam as your Deen and Muhammad as your Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Another narration. مَنْ قَالَ حِينَ يَسْمَعَ الْمُؤَذِّنَ 
أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأن محمدا عبده ورسوله رضيت بالله ربا وبمحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم رسولا وبالإسلام دينا غفر له ذنبه Whoever says when he hears the mu'adhan, meaning at the end of the adhan, I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except for Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the servant of Allah. Servant of Allah, he's not to be worshipped. And the messenger of Allah, messenger of Allah, he's not to be disobeyed. And then he says, I am pleased with Allah as my Lord. And with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as my messenger, and with Islam as my deen, he will be forgiven for his sins. SubhanAllah bihamdi, look how powerful this statement is. Raditu billahi rabban, wabi Muhammadin rasula, wabi islami deenan. I'm pleased with Allah as my Lord, with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as my messenger, with Islam as my deen. A powerful statement. So much so, the person is forgiven for his sins. But here's a point. You find some people at the end of the Adhan, or when they hear the name of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they kiss their thumbs or they kiss their fingers and then they wipe their eyes. This is a bid'ah from the bid'ah in the deen. The narration that mentions this, these narrations have no origin. They're fabricated on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That whoever hears the name of the Prophet, and he says, Marhaban ya Habibi, welcome to you my beloved one, you are the coolness of my eyes. Whoever says this, that he will never go blind, and he will never have pink eye. The hadith is mawdu'ah. Or the narration on Abu Bakr radiallahu an, that he heard the adhan and then he kissed his thumbs or his index fingers and wiped his eyes and said that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said whoever does like my companion has done then he will receive my intercession on the day of judgment. These narrations are fabricated. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never did this nor did any of the sahaba do this. But we say the statement at the end of the adhan that's authentically established upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The last point, ikhwan akhawat. Qal Allah azza wa jal. Qul inna salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alameen. Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, indeed my prayer and my sacrifice and my life and my death is for Allah, the Lord of the creation. This is what it means to be pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as your Lord. Everything is for Allah. When we practice this deen of Islam, we don't choose any other deen over the deen of Islam. وَمَنْ يَبَتَغِي غَيْرَ الْإِسْلَامِ دِينًا فَلَنْ يُكْبَلَ مِنْ وَهُوَ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ Whoever desires a way of life other than Islam, it will never be accepted. And in the hereafter, he will be from amongst the losers. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned, مَنْ رَغِبَ عَنْ سُنَّتِي فَلَيْسَ مِنِّي Whoever desires other than my way, he's not from me. So our life has to be for Allah. The deen that we choose and live upon has to be Islam. And the man that we follow unrestrictedly has to be the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And with this, we will have salvation in this life as well as in the hereafter, as long as we die upon these three matters. Aqulu qawli hadha, astaghfirullah li wa lakum, wa subhanaka allahumma wa bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illa anta, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. Aqim as-salam.